Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial and today it's on Epic Jewels. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create multiple jewel arenas for your players to 1v1 against each other and win money. So what we're going to do is show you how to set it up. So first of all, let's do the forward slash jewel command. That's going to show us a few of the different commands so we can obviously accept or reject a jewel from another player. And then if we do forward slash arena and then create, we are going to make a brand new arena. Let's call it Server Miner. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and set the two positions by doing arena serve miner set spawn one. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and fly to the other spawn and we're going to do set spawn two. Now that we've done that, all we need to do is challenge my other account to a duel. So if we do full slash duel and their username, we're going to get a GUI. And here we can pick which arena we want and the queue length is zero, obviously, because no one else is on the server. And then we can choose whether we want our inventory currently or a custom kit. So if we click custom, we'll give a choice of all the kits we've created. By default, there's one called the warrior kit. And then we can choose how much this costs. So you can do it for free, so zero dollars, or you can add money to make it a bit more interesting. So we can increase the bet by maybe 25,000. You can add and subtract different amounts. You can chase this in the config file as well. But let's go ahead and make it maybe 40,000, make it very interesting. And that has been sent to my other account. So on my other account screen, he has 15 seconds to accept. All he needs to do is type forward slash jewel, accept uh, my username. We'll be teleported to the spawn point, And then after five seconds, we will attack each other basically. So we get Kit Warrior, which I made. It's just a simple diamond sword. And I'm gonna go over here and whack my main account. And as you can see, I have won. It says I've beaten LT Gym. I've won $40,000, and that is how it works. So here we are in the SM Pitney control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. So if we go into the config.yml first of all, there's not too much in here. Up at the top, we've got the chat prefix and the name for the menu. Then we've got the amount of time until it will expire. So when you send a request, it has 15 seconds before it is gone. And then we have the delay to teleport to the jewel. Do you want to allow custom inventories or custom kits? Yes or no, so you can disable one or the other or have both. And then we've got the menu name, we've got the kit command, and then we've got the kit. So by default, there is the kit warrior. Remember, you must have a kit plugin such as Essentials Kit in order to use this plugin. So if you create a kit called warrior, you can stick it here. Now imagine we created a kit called, I don't know, VIP. So we could edit it like this, so you can change the name, display name and the law, so to make it a bit more fancy, and then make sure you create a VIP kit in Essentials, and then people would be able to use this kit. Scroll down and we've got the money menu, so we've got the size of it and the different materials, so we've got the emerald block of course, and then we've got all the red stained glass and the amounts that you can increase or decrease your bet by. So you can change this depending on the economy on your server. Let's go ahead and go back and then the custom.yml is going to save data for your arenas and then messages.yml as expected is going to show all of the messages so we've got loads here when people win, lose, etc. So that is everything in the config file. If we head over to the spigot page you can see it is updated to the latest version of Minecraft from 1.8 to 1.15. And there are some cool pictures. We've got some commands here and requirements, so Vault and any kits plugin. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.